Welcome to the last installment, part seven of organic functional groups. Um, here we'll start to transition to chemical reactivity. So we will look at an important reaction, um, combustion reactions. Let's get started. Alrighty, so remember that a combustion reaction is any reaction in which an organic compound reacts completely with oxygen, one of our diatomic elements, to produce carbon dioxide, and water. So one important example of a combustion reaction is happening inside of us at this very moment. Our body is basically very gradually and gently combusting the glucose inside of us with the oxygen from our breath to produce the CO2 that we breathe out in the water. And the reason why is because we'll get energy that way. So. Um, Within our body, we do the oxidation very gently, in our, the combustion, which is also a, an oxidation too, but we'll focus on combustion. So, um, but we can think about in our car with gasoline, the combustion reaction happens very quickly. So when we're trying to balance a reaction like we have here, we, the, fr um, the first step is to start with the carbons. All right, so if we look at this example here, we see that we have six carbon atoms on the left, and there's our CO2. So we would put a six in front of CO2 to balance. And then we would go to the hydrogens. All right, so we see we have 14 hydrogens on the left, and the hydrogens on the right come from water, so they come in sets of two, and that means that we are going to put a coefficient of seven here. So at this point, we've balanced the carbons and the hydrogens. We will save the oxygen for last because we do have it listed by itself. So balance oxygens last. Alrighty, so when we look to the right, and we see that we have six carbon dioxides. Each of those carbon dioxides contains two oxygens. And then we have seven water molecules, and each of those water molecules has one oxygen. So all together, we would have 12 plus 7, we would have 19 oxygen atoms on the right. Now, the challenge here is that because oxygen is a diatomic element, they come in sets of two. So it's impossible to take multiples of two and create 19. So we will put a 19 over two here, right? Because if we have, um, just mathematically, right, 19 over two times two, would give us 19. All right, that leads us to the last step. So this is if needed. So we don't always need step four, but in this case we do. To balance the reaction, we've put a fractional coefficient, but we know that we're not allowed to have fractional coefficients in a properly balanced equation. So we're going to have to clear the fractional coefficient. Alrighty, so to do that, we'll just take advantage of some basic math, right? We're going to multiply the entire reaction by 2 to clear this coefficient. But remember that chemical reactions are a blending of really English and math. And so we can think of the arrows as an equal sign. So we can't just multiply one term of our reaction by 2 we have to multiply the entire expression. So at the end, our balanced reaction would be two carbon, or two C6H14s, 19 oxygens, produces 12 CO2, 
and 14 waters. All right, so now we have balanced the reaction that we were given. All right, let's practice this one more time before you get started on your homework. Start with the carbons. Five carbons here. Put a five in front of CO2. Ten hydrogens. Put a five in front of water. Now, we need to balance the oxygens. If we have five CO2s, we get a five from the coefficient and a two from the chemical formula, and then a five from the coefficient and a one from the chemical formula. So for on the right side of the equation, we have 15 oxygen atoms. Once again, we're, because of it being diatomic, we're going to have to use our fractional coefficients, and then that sends off an alert, not allowed to do that, so we will multiply the whole expression by 2, remembering that it, the 2 is multiplied by each coefficient in the reaction. So ultimately, we would have two molecules or moles of C5H10 reacting with 15 molecules or moles of oxygen to produce 10 molecules or moles of CO2 and 10 molecules or moles of water. So our final balanced equation is right there. Okay, so please um, take a few minutes now to practice balancing a couple combustion reactions on your own to um, reinforce your understanding.